Hi everyone, today I will introduce you guys our project, uh, which is the linear programming server. Uh, so this project is a website and it's designed by three USC students, uh, Wen Hao, Jiao, and Timing. Uh, I'm Timing. So today I will first show you an uh, intuition about our website. Uh, we have two uh, different sources, which is LP server and uh, GLPK. Uh, then I will uh, tell you what linear programming is. So linear programming is a technique for the optimization of a linear objective function and subject to some constraints. So uh, this constraint will form a polygon in this 2D space and uh, the objective function, which is a linear line, will, will move upwards and downwards so that we get different solution. And uh, what we have used is the front end is, is Bootstrap, HTML, CSS, and jQuery. For the back end, we use uh, Node.js. So, uh, and and then there are some libraries which is Express, uh, LP Server, and GLPK. These three are the most important. And as for my part, I will I have done some of the front end, which is contains the this collapse and this tab and some backhand about this LP server. And uh, I have got uh, emails so to send to the administrator so that uh, people will know how many users are using his website. Okay, so uh, let's come to the code part. Uh, I will introduce the, uh, the, the backhand of the, uh, uh, to, to send the JSON to the backhand to the uh, LP server. Uh, so I write the async function, and uh, for this handle get function, uh, we await the linear programming, the npm package to work, and send back to the to the uh, front end about the output. And for the email part, I write also write a async function, and to analyze and analyze how many users are using it. Ms. Zhao, uh... I have done some web development to make the website more user friendly. So here is our linear programming server. Uh, I have used the selection tab here to let user choose the number of variables they want without uh, requiring to reload the whole page. Uh, since I contain the code of each different number of variable in different div files, this function is achieved by hiding the div file that is not necessary and only review the information that is selected by the user. And for the constraint part here, uh, I use jQuery library's dynamic field property to allow user to add and reduce the constraint function without limitation. And here's the code for the dynamic field uh, function. The main idea here is uh, whenever the uh, add more button is clicked by the user, we append another line of the constraint function and delete button behind the previous row by using this append function. And here, this three block is the delete function that uh, read the ID of the delete button that was clicked by the user and remove the whole line. Thank you. I'm Wen Hao. I made the GLPK part. Obviously, I use GLPK library, which is an open source library from GNU that is sold linear programs and wrap it in Node.js backend. Uh, what it looks like is this. Uh, when I use write math program model, I will get a resolution like this. However, otherwise, uh, like I put nothing there, I will get the error like this. So uh, I say what in I saved what in the text area as content, uh, and send it from front end to back end. Use slashing jlpk this address, and I, from the back end, I will get the a uh, red model, and I will use FS uh, middleware and uh, write the text test file, and then I use a uh, shell JS middleware and execute the JLPK command to get the uh, solution file. Then I use FS to read the solution file to get the uh, solution model in and save it into output LP, and then uh, I. 
send the output LP back to my front end, and that's all. I will get the REST solution. Thank you.